Constable. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Um, could you turn the engine off, please? Why are you stationary? She's refused to turn the engine off. Welcome back to the channel guys. Here today we are at Euston Police Station in Leicester. Leicestershire Police. This car park is for police staff and visitors to the police station only. So let's go and have a look inside. Quite a few of these tactical support vehicles parked in the, uh, the main car park. Let's have a look. These premises do not have public facilities. Ah, no public facilities here. The nearest police station is Mansfield. Please use other intercom. So they've got an intercom just there, which I presume calls inside. So one thing not to notice straight away is that the bin is completely rammed full absolutely disgusting uh, these doors are opening by themselves it's the public area inside here ah they they have got a yellow phone so if these doors are open 24 7 then the yellow phone is definitely a plus how to use the yellow phone so there's decent instructions there on how to use the the yellow phone pick up the answer and dial the department or the person you wish to speak to and the extensions are listed below. Mm. So they have got hand sanitizer and it is wheelchair friendly. There is a disabled toilet and it does not need a radar key and it is open. You've got your usual fire alarm layouts with all the zones mentioned and the fire alarm panel is protected with a lock. No other doors are accessible to the public and they are all securely locked with the normal fob entry. General tidiness, you've got a few bits of litter on the floor around the main entrance but in general it's not that bad at all the vehicles that are parked in the the car park they they are parked on double yellow lines but the double yellow lines are rubbed out There is a, uh, a bin area where the bins are clearly overflowing. The slight untidiness around the bin area is uh, a concern. They have a separate door for the, the ID department where they do the ID parades to keep, uh, to keep it all separated. Looking towards the back, there's a really high, high wall, nice and secure. The grounds are kept really, really nice. So we'll have a further look around the other gates around the back of the building to see if there's anything interesting back there. So as we walk around the, the police station perimeter, we notice this, this pipe, which is just sticking out into the public footpath. It looks like it's, uh, it's something to do with this Western Power distribution box, but it's uh, certainly a hazard and that needs to be pushed back in there, but it won't, it won't push back in. It uh, constantly keeps 
coming out. So, but it's now in enough where it's cleared the public footpath. So, that's at least one useful thing. You've got somebody's trainers just left there. I noticed a little jacket down there as well, next to that little substation thing. Emergency vehicles, 24 hour access. And in general, not a bad, very well kept site. Not lots of nice green green area, but you've just got a problem with the litter really. You've got face masks down here. Just the normal, the normal litter problem that we tend to see. So currently standing under, I thought I was standing on some balls. There's a conquer tree above us and the conkers are falling on the ground oh and there we have a fresh conker <laughs> oh dear the things that we find interesting at police station audits eh so not really much action from this back gate so i'm going to make myself useful right and what i'm going to do i'm going to pick up the litter and i'm going to place it into the bin and this is my public service for Euston Street Police Station. I'm going to do you a really good job here. So I've got some hand sanitizer, so don't you worry about, about me. That's the face mask picked up. That's the shoes picked up. What's next? The old scraggy trousers. That's them picked up. They're uh, Adidas, Adidas trousers. Tracksuit bottoms, whatever you want to call them. So, let's go and see if this, they stink of piss, they do. Let's go and see if this will fit in the bin, which we know it won't because the bin is full. Let's see if we get told off for, for being a good Samaritan. Yep, yeah, I would place it into that bin, but as you can see, it's completely full. So we'll go and see if there's any space in the main bins at the back. So here we are, the bins to the left are clearly for recycling. The three bins in the middle are clearly for household waste. And that one there is clearly for clinical waste. So we do not have a bin to put this rubbish in. So all the best I can do for now is put it like that. So there you go, Euston Street. Police station, I've done you a good deed. You now don't need to go and clean up your surroundings. Some nice cars in there, aren't there? Look at that. So we've had a good walk around a couple of times. The officers clearly saw me with the the rubbish in my hand, taking it to the bin, and they wasn't really bothered. The bins are completely overflowing, which is not, not a good reflection, not a good image to, to have. But apart from that, we're not getting uh, confronted. They're not really bothered about what we're doing. Like, it's an interesting one. When you're on, um, police grounds do these double yellow lines really actually mean anything you know when you're on a private car park you see these double yellow lines put in quite a bit 
but I don't think they have any power really. I think the fact that the vehicles are clearly parking on the double yellows and how they're worn out, I think that's been done for many, many years and it's their land, they can park wherever they like. I think that's the, the general stance on double yellows on private property, but it's not really private, is it, when it's a police station car park? So we'll just see if there's any members of the public in this. Uh... And yes, there is. So we won't go back in there just yet. One thing to notice is this uh, ta the tactical support team vehicle is stationary, but engine running. And I'll just make a quick note of the time. The time is 11.09 with engine running. They're, they're actually using their mobile phones whilst engine running as well. So we're not really just putting a mobile phone away now, look. So we'll keep an eye on the time, how long this engine is running for. I mean you've got number number one is running, number two is not running, number three is not running, number four is not running. And I would have thought number one and number two are on double yellows. So it's number one, that's the naughty one. And look, NL1. NL1, naughty one. But she has clocked me now and she has put the phone away, so. Constable, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, um, could you turn the engine off, please? Why are you stationary? She's refused to turn the engine off. Four three zero three. Four three zero three has refused to turn the engine off while stationary. Hmm, interesting. at primary school and they're called eco warriors and it's their job to sort of go around the classrooms and make sure the um, the new electronic whiteboards the electronic boards are turned off and stuff like that and to see in a police vehicle with its engine running for so long is certainly not giving the the positive message that the Leicestershire Constabulary should be giving we just said that a little bit loud there so that the the constable that was entering the side of the vehicle could relay that to his team. So that's the tactical support team in NL1 leaving Houston Police Station at 11.12. So engine was idle for all that time. And then, now the vehicle has moved away, we can go and have a look at these yellow lines. So, double yellow lines, they're very faint. They're very, very faint. But they do run all the way across here. Parking on double yellow lines with engine running for all those minutes. Polite request from a member of the public to turn the engine off, and it was a refusal. Looking at mobile phone whilst engine running and on double yellow lines. We've got two more down there, engine running. Now they are putting their face masks on. One with face masks gone, one without. Hmm, interesting. Wonder what the policy is on uh, face masks when in vehicles.
So I like how um, Leicestershire Police have made the um, the windows high, so higher than the normal member of the public, so no uh, no snooping can be going on through the windows. So you can clearly see that the window height is, is much higher than a normal person's height. So these new build police stations have actually thought about it, and they've thought about cameras being outside and windows need to be high up. Um, yeah, just having a look round, Constable. Yeah, yeah, this one seems to be really good. I found some um, some personal belongings. I think they're just littered, to be honest. Some some trainers and some Adidas joggers. Yeah, well, no, they were. They was actually on the main uh, the main approach. You had some shoelaces and stuff on the grass. So I've picked them up. I've placed them in the bins. It's not so good good of an image how these bins are overflowing yeah. just there, and also how the the main bin at the front entrance is actually overflowing right now okay. so that is not a good look a any um obviously it's not it's not your jurisdiction but yeah yeah but the, the, the overflowing bins what what do you think well we have to wait until we collected <laughs> like anything isn't it you yeah. know it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's rubbish that we need we need the collection i don't work at this police station my friend as you know i work at broadson as we met the other you get, day. get around a bit don't you i do, <laughs> I do yes so uh <laughs> yeah. and i thought i'd come and say hello yeah because uh, i had a chat the other day so i know there are the reasons why you're here um and obviously doing, doing what dj audits as i've now seen on youtube you've seen it yeah i have indeed yes yeah <laughs> we're quite new to the game but i'm i'm different yeah i want to make a positive yeah. i want to contribute you guys are doing a brilliant job in my opinion I've just done a good deed for the... You see the good deed that I did on the last one? Where I you, you screened... Love, you love Leicester as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, uh, definitely, there yeah. is um, a pipe on the substation that is coiled up yeah. and I've pushed it back in, but I think the coil, the, the natural spring of the coil, is going to make it come out and that that will obstruct a pedestrian. Okay. It's too big for me to handle. Yeah. I don't think it's a... It, I think it's a Western Power Distribution problem. Okay, where's As, that? What, on the grounds of here? Uh, on the side of your building, yeah. What, outside? Outside. Okay, right, but, okay. I but, don't know who would have... Yeah, there is a phone number. I, I'm, I'll put on the video what I do about that. But that's the only only problem really. It's it's good that you've got a disabled toilet in there. Although it's not it's not open to the public, is it? Like no public service. As front it? office. This this isn't and wasn't um, built to be a um, public police station. As such it was originally built for custody, and yeah. then have officers working out of it. Um, so that front office is for people coming to use the, the services of the custody block and things like that generally yeah so that's yeah. why people are kind of here for that yeah um but there is a local police team now based out here as well to cover the kind of the uh if you know leicester at all yeah yeah you know, the old welford road area should we call it, it used to be a police station welford road welford road you know right i know where the prison is there, just over the other side of kind of parallel where we are okay um so um we've got police officers based out here now to kind of cover that area right Making okay policing and things like that Day. Yeah, yeah. Well, this, this go, one, yeah, okay. I won't waste any more of your time. Again, in the middle of another job. Yeah, <laughs> you're busy. You yeah, Bye. keep up the good work, Sergeant. Bye, mate, small world, guys. Small world. <laughs> the sergeant from Braunston Police Station just happens to be here on this exact exact moment. You guys are going to think this is uh, set up, aren't you? But it really is not. So, I think for a very very modern police station this is the way to do it this is the way to do it apart from having the the double yellow lines there and idling and having that nasty nasty full bin disgusting what i'm going to do quickly guys is i'm going to call this number and tell them that this pipe is keeps on unspringing onto the public footpath there's the number Let's stick this on loudspeaker. Option one. This is our option if you need to report a dangerous situation or damage to our network. If this That'll do for us. And you'll be transferred to an agent. Please be aware that your call may be recorded for monitoring and training purposes. Good morning, through to Louise at Western Power Distribution. Can I take your postcode, please? I'm not sure of our postcode here at the moment. Um, it's Euston, Euston Street Police Station in Leicester. Right, OK. Is there, just... is there a number on the box that you could take? On the... What, what box is that, sorry? Oh, oh, what it is, what it is. One of these um, substation type of things has got like a, a pipe and it keeps uncoiling itself into the public footpath causing a hazard for pedestrians. 
Um, do, you want, do you want the um, the what three words number? Let me see. So is it directly, is it the substation that's close to the police station? Yeah, here's the what three words um, uh, name. It's called Asset Bunch Boats. All right, Asset Bunch Boats. You got that? Bear with me one second, please. Asset Bunch, what was the last word, sorry? Boats. B boats? Yeah, boats, like a shipping boat. Thank you. And can I get your name, please? I'm going to remain anonymous to go, OK? Can I leave that one with you? Can I get a contact number for yourself, please? I'm going to remain anonymous. OK. If you've got to go, that's fine. Then go, obviously. Just advise anyone to stay away from the area, OK? Yeah, yeah. It's, I've pushed it in, but it is slowly uncoiling itself into the public footpath. So I'll leave it with you. And thank you very much. Right, OK. So it's a pipe? Yep. It's a, it's a black plastic pipe. Looks like it's hollow, but it's coiled right at the side of this substation. Right, okay, but it's not an electricity cable. I don't know what's inside. Uh, all I can see is a hollow bit there. All right, I'm leaving it with you now. Right, okay, no worries. All right, bye. Okay. Didn't want it to last too long on the video, guys, but at least that's uh, another good deed done. As we walk away from Euston Street Police Station, we come across these two pieces of clothing as well. I wonder if these are related to Euston Street Police Station. Let's have a look at the tag. So there's the tag, guys. If you believe that to be custody clothing, then that there lot, Euston Street Police Station custody track suits, extra large. Shall we take those as a souvenir? I think we will.